don't we tell you today's hot topics? And we weigh it against the Word of God because we all know God does have a view. Um, Trudy Davis, in Matthew 24, 12, God says, All because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about here today is hearts waxing cold. Mm -hmm. We see it every day single day yeah. more and more. What do you think it is that's turning man's heart? We're almost like, ro we're almost like robots mm -hmm. now. Well, you know, so Jesus is describing the circumstances that will precede his second coming in that verse. And so he says, lawlessness and iniquity shall bound, which will make the love of many grow cold. Mm -hmm. Well, when you break that down, lawlessness is a state of disorder due to disregard for the law. We see that every day. Every day. Iniquity is immoral, immoral behavior. Mm -hmm. So among this chaos, the love of many grow cold because what we see is not godly behavior. Mm -hmm. And then the sad part is God loves us. He doesn't want to be separated from us, but sin separates us from God. Right. So that verse is then fulfilled because of the behavior that's going on, you know, and we see it and we, you know, in some ways take part of it and it separates us from the love of God, which is only going to hurt us I in like the long run. I like that verse because it says wax cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yes. I looked up that that's word. Right. Yeah. It actually means, uh, it's a Greek word suko, which means breath or a, a spiritual decay, which yes. means really you're dying. Waxing yeah. means you are dying. You're on right. the inside, and the only way we can dead stay man. alive, You're dead right. man right. on the inside, right. without the Holy well, Spirit. Well, when you think about it, you know, from from the perspective of, of 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 Genesis, you're dealing with, you know, when you eat of this, you shall surely die. Absolutely. There's an erosion. There is a mm -hmm. uh, uh, something that happens that you just slowly, slowly but surely fall away from. Right. Yeah. And I think what happens is that men's hearts, the whole fear aspect of what's happening in society, you end up, you know, you know, not believing that any mm -hmm. good can, can come out of this. Uh -huh. It's right. like the frog in the slow boiling right. pot. Yeah. You just are emerged in it longer, longer till the love dies. Right. But well, when I was looking at this topic, one of the things that came to my mind and I started to really think on is where does the lawlessness begin? Mm -hmm. And then I was going, I went into Proverbs and I was reading Ooh. and Proverbs chapter yes. 30 verse 11 and it says that you know where we have a generation that curses their father mm -hmm. and does not bless their mother mm -hmm. so does the lawlessness begin because in some respect we've shifted in such a way with discipline and respect right. out of the home and then That's we're right. raising a group mm -hmm. of individuals that now they have no respect for authority yeah. right. of the parents well, you so can't then discipline when they go in public out public anymore yes. you yeah. can't discipline in public you can't show no. authority in public to the younger generation and they don't discipline in school they don't student. discipline mm -hmm. in school because then you get in trouble. And so, you know, it talks about in Matthew 5, 14 that we are the light of the world yes. and we should not be hidden. And it, then it goes on to talk about a candle burning. And if you think about when a candle gets blown out, mm -hmm. the wick becomes really hard, which is what's happening to yes. the Christian mm -hmm. hearts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're blowing like the wind back and forth because there's no authority. No light. Right. Yeah. And there's no mm -hmm. light. But and so we become if hard. If a person goes out and they commit murder mm -hmm. and they commit terrible acts, it's almost like they have completely lost their their conscience, right. mm -hmm. and it's like the heart has. But if you look at it from a different angle, mm -hmm. we do not really deal with people anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, we deal with machines. Right. You yes. know, we mm -hmm. when we call, we get That's recordings. Right. That's true. Very seldom, and we're getting where well, we don't want to talk to people yeah. anymore, That's do right. we? Well, we're, we're disconnected. We don't want to talk there, to them. There is no connection between humans That's anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. And so right now, you want to handle everything in a non non connected cold manner because mm -hmm. now you, you don't want to be vulnerable. It's safer. So, right. It's safer. Right. You say, yeah, right. Yeah. We're more, we're you know, more robotic. We just, we yeah. act and we move like just kind of like robots yeah. because we're too to afraid. what Lee was saying about, you know, just not having respect for the father, right. not mm -hmm. having respect in the home. We don't have respect for our heavenly father. No. no. Yes. And I was Definitely, thinking yes. about how, you know, we begin to wax cold when we don't know the father, when mm -hmm. we don't yes. spend mm -hmm. time with the father, right. when we're not You're with exactly the Holy right. Spirit. That's right. And I heard a pastor say, you know, he had read so many books in his lifetime, many men, an older pastor was talking about how many books he had read in, the, in his lifetime. He said, but the most valuable time that I have spent on this <laughs> earth that was is with his heavenly right. father. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's how you mm -hmm. keep your heart alive. But don't you also feel like fire. drugs can you, make the heart grow cold? Oh, definitely. Yes. But what happens yeah. is that, you know, what, like you're saying here, you don't have that relationship. <laughs> right. And so, therefore, everything that comes, you deal with it from mm -hmm. a man's perspective and not mm -hmm. from the father's perspective. Because yeah. the reality is when you spend time with him, he shows you how right. you are to uh, connect with everything. We end up 
not trusting God. So therefore, when you deal with a, a relationship like that, you don't have anything that that mm -hmm. you're not touching anything correctly. Because mm -hmm. when you when you don't trust God, that means that when the rejection comes, when the problem right. comes, oh, wow. you yeah. end up moving right. the world's correctly. way because yeah. now mm -hmm. it, well, it, 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 pulls, it pulls all <coughs> yeah. the goodness out of you. Right. Yeah. But well, it's some, trust. Yes. You can summarize it, it in, you know, when, when we talk about iniquity abounding, mm -hmm. meaning that we have this lawlessness, which mm -hmm. is getting greater, but it's sort of like a double barrel type situation. Iniquity is abounding and lawlessness is getting greater, right. but love is re, is reducing. That's and right. that's what we really, you know, when you see all these things happening, it's the love factor and the compassion the love, that's right. been lost and now right. we have mm -hmm. no regard for humanity. Right. And that's I think right. it's, we're dealing also with a generation that's been raised in public schools that had no, that believe that every road leads to God, that if you believe mm -hmm. in one really strong thing, that makes you a hypocrite and narrow-minded. And so now it's like they're paralyzed. They don't know what to believe, so they just choose to believe Confused. nothing. Right. There's a lot of confusion. Mm -hmm. And again, that leads to, like you say, numbness and not really experiencing that fullness mm -hmm. of the love of God and the direction yeah. that you get from the love of God. Yeah. But I need... think if we go back to Matthew 24, 12, it says it grows. And you talked about our relationship with Christ. It, we're either going to grow good or we're going to grow bad. That's right. And but it, we're going to grow one we're way. We're going to grow one yeah. way. Like, we're going to grow evil or good. Right. And, yeah. and it's a fallacy. You, you cannot just stand still. Either yeah. you, I, you, right. you're yes. getting closer to God or you're walking right. away from him. Mm. Yeah. And, and it's so a, you have daily to, it's, it's a daily mind choice. It's a daily thing. Right. And he's not moving. <laughs> right. That's right. right. He's right there. Where you left him, that's uh, where he is. Yes. Yes. Right. Go back that's to right. where you last saw him. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. But I do think things like drugs and things that we mask pain with, all of that waxes the heart yeah. cold. Yeah. Don't you it think is. so? It, is. Dead yes. in, it deadens mm -hmm. you. The drugs deaden you and numb you they do. to the they, things they of the numb. world. They numb you to right. the word of God. They, they do. Numb you. Stay with us. When we come back, we're going to talk about the dangers of pastors watering down the gospel. Wow.